Hey, and welcome to another episode of the SMA Audio Experience Podcast. This week, we're really blessed with another phenomenal guest. This is a SMA alumni, uh, one of actually my good friends who we graduated the same class, same eighth grade class together, all the way back in 1994. So for everybody who's who wasn't born yet or was a child during that time, um, we're still not that old. So <laughs> we're blessed with none other than Miss uh, Michelle Fernandez. Thanks for joining the call. How are you doing today? Good. Hello, everyone. Awesome. Awesome. So um, I invited Michelle onto the podcast for this week because um, we've had phenomenal guests, you know, administrators, principals, teachers, um, past SMA alumni or past SMA students in different stages of their lives. Um, one of the, the topics that we want to talk about for this week is actually we want to talk to those who are you know um, young uh, parents or families who uh, practice in the Catholic faith, um, who are possibly considering Catholic school education, or currently have their child or children in Catholic school education. Those are going to be the you know the, the the general topic and things that we're going to be talking about for today's episode. A little a little switch from the traditional Q and A um, of what makes your school special or what's going on. Uh, and we wanted to focus more on that for, you know, this part of our community and this part of our audience. So what better way to do it than with two parents who currently, you know, send their children or their child to uh, current Catholic schools here in San Diego County. So uh, with that said, Michelle, can you give everyone a little bit of origin story for those who don't know you or who have not met you yet? Sure. Okay, so as Mark said, we went to school together um, at St. Michael Academy from kindergarten through eighth grade, so 1986 to 1994 um, Parted ways. We, I, we both continued Catholic education at Catholic high schools, um, went to college. Um, I came back to San Diego, married somebody that I met through a mutual friend at church, um, we have four beautiful children together, ranging from age four months to 10 years old. And three of them out of the four are currently in a Catholic school. They're at St. Charles Borromeo Academy. We used to be at St. Michael's um, up until our family moved to Oceanside because I, I took a job up in Orange County. So we had to move the kids to a school that was close to one of our jobs. So that's how we, we landed at St. Charles, which is near my husband's work. But, but you know, we were a little bit apprehensive and worried because we knew St. Michael's um, and it was a great place for them. They were very familiar. We were worried that they would not be welcome at their new school. They would miss their friends. But I believe, you know, everything happens the way it does for a reason. God puts you right where you're supposed to be. And St. Charles is that place for us right now. And they're doing well. And it's a great community for us. So, but it's still close enough that we get to visit St. Michael's whenever we, we have a chance. My mom still goes there. So we go there whenever we can. That is awesome. That is awesome. And I know that um, there there's a couple of points in there that I really want to, um, I guess, focus on or really highlight for those listening is that uh, even as you're growing in your faith and in your career and your lives, you know, either if you're by yourself or with your significant other, um, and yet, or if you have a family, it's one of those things that's, I guess, that's one of the beauties of, you know, our Catholic faith is you can move or travel, but, you know, there, there's still that sense of that network, per se, that you can always go to to say, hey, you know, like, I want to find a place to call a new home for church, right? Because I have to move like geographically, you know, for career or personal reasons, what have you. Uh, and also there's that aspect of, you know, in most places they'll, they'll have a school. So, you know, when you guys were looking for that, um, that's a really important point because, you know, with today's modern career, you know, people are having to maybe change more jobs or move uh, more than, than in the past. Um, what were some things that you're looking for? Like you, you touched on the aspect of picking a school that was that was closer to one you know either your place of work or your your husband's place of work um can you go a little bit more deeper into that like of some of the other things like logistics um that you guys have to talk about as well yeah so so the job that i took at the time was for disneyland and so i had looked at the catholic schools in closest proximity to both disneyland and to dover's work which is in downtown next to the airport and um, I think we had narrowed it down to four schools, mm -hmm. and I, I looked into 
those schools, I didn't really have, there wasn't that much information available on the web and I didn't know um, any families at any of them. It kind of worked out where Disneyland, my employer at the time told me, you know what? Um, it's not a good idea to send your kids to school near here because there may be days where you're working late. We may have an emergency. I worked for their safety department. And so a lot of emergencies came up where I might've been responding Mm -hmm. um, to incidents that could have taken, you know, a couple of hours and and they explained your your kids might be at school. And if your husband's an hour and a half, two hours away, Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't leave you in a good position. So I was kind of upset. I'm like, you know, how can Disneyland, you know, not understand Mm -hmm. um, my needs as a mother. But at the same time, again, everything happens for a reason. They ended up where they were supposed to be. So then it, it brought us to the schools here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Um, We reached out to someone at St. Charles and it so happened that the the PTG president at the time Mm -hmm. um, called us back and invited us for a tour. And he was very nice um welcoming person and he I, at the time the school was going through transitions with the principal and some teachers and so um had it not been for this ptg president president stepping in mm-hmm. to welcome us and give us the information we we may not have made that decision to go there the other um school we were looking at was saint vincent okay. um, but again nothing in particular we didn't even get a chance to do the tour and everything about St. Charles when we did the tour and gathered the information seemed to be a better fit. And so that's how we ended up there. And then since then, all the families that we met that first week and the kids, when they came home from school that first day and told us how well they were treated and, and um, about their first friends there, Mm -hmm. it was just as a parent, very reassuring and, and helped put us at ease to continue with that decision nice nice and so you know this is a a good tip like i'll highlight that right now so for those schools you know like for those principals those ptg leaders and those groups you know listening to this whether you're here in san Diego county or across the whole united states um some of those fundamentals in michelle's you know experience there please take that to heart you know um you know building that infrastructure and that community of um you know your ptg group your outreach your communication so that there's a system in place. So even if there's change or transition in management or leadership at any particular school, um, the community uh, of, of, you know, really involved parents or those core groups, it's there to go continue and still support that, you know, mission that your school is trying to do. So that, that is amazing. That's cool. And of course, you know, like as any parent can um, would desire, right. They, they, they want to hear that uh, from their kids. Hey, are they happy? Are they learning? You know, are they getting along? Are they making friends? Um, and that's just more icing on the cake. So that is, that is awesome. That's so, so, so cool. Yeah. Um, and that particular PTG president, he had five kids himself that were either in that school or graduated from the school. So f- as a, a fellow parent to hear from another parent, mm-hmm. you know, that they trusted this particular school with their five children and their children were thriving there. It helped to provide um, a real life example or, as opposed to just the school saying, you know, we need students or we need heads in our classroom. Right. Um, oh, yeah. That's cool. I mean, and I mean, that's how much better can you get than a real life testimonial, right? <laughs> I mean, that, that, that is good. That is, that is super, super helpful. Um, you, one thing that I'm going to touch back on, too, is that on one of, your, um, one of the lines on your answer, you said you noticed when you started doing your initial research after you had taken a job at, Di- at Disneyland, um, you couldn't find too much on the web. Was that for schools in the Anaheim area, like around Disneyland when you were searching? Um, I would say both areas. Okay. If anything, there was more information available for the Anaheim schools. Mm -hmm. Um, One of them in particular was a very large, very established school. I I forget the name of it, but it it was, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it seemed more of an institution or an organization more than a school, but at the same time, all the testimonials that were available um, were very positive and encouraging. So that's what kind of drew me. But at the same time, I I don't think that that's the kind of school that it it was fairly large. And I like the small, intimate Catholic school feel. And that was um, broaching into 
the numbers that are more like a, the, the, a public bigger, school. Those bigger, right. like established, like even certain high schools, you know? <laughs> right. Right. Like so that, where there's ability to get lost and not know everybody and lose that sense of community. Mm, very true. Very true. Awesome. I the reason why I bring that up is I know that in studying, like say the Office of Schools, which is under the Diocese of San Diego, and one of our past guests was you know Matthew Cordes, who's one of the associate director of schools, along with Dr. Uh, Julie Cantillion. Um, they recently, over the last two to three months, I know they did a big overhaul in reaching out to all of the Catholic schools. Um, you know, with a I guess rebranding more of like a, a central hub site for them, so it's modern, it's it's mobile friendly, um, so that you know, if people were interested in Catholic schools, they can go to that, that general website that services all of, you know, like, you know, San Diego and Imperial County. And if a respective school, you know, has provided, you know, all the current information, you know, with a form that they had, um, you know, it's a nice, like, usable map, because you can um, look on the visually, like on your phone or on a computer and say, okay, hey, you know, you work up in the North County, or you work in the, the East County, okay, well, here's some schools, like either in between, or some schools, um, either closer to your work, et cetera. And it, it, it's that nice, great resource. So that's that's very interesting that you bring that up because I know that's a big initiative for them is to have more modern resources available. So when, you, when you're when you in a uh, researching mode, like how you guys were a couple, you know, um, a couple months ago or last year, um, you have a very modern uh, resource to reference. Be like, okay, hey, here's like three or four things. Go put put that down on a post, on a sticky note or make make a little note, like an email or something. Take a picture with it. We'll set aside some you know time and let's start you know going through the the info, right? So that's cool. Yeah, that would have been helpful. I I think the one website down here at the time was um, was something that graded the schools. I forget. The actual. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's more like a Yelp, you know, like a, a rating thing. And uh, right. this one is cool because, like, they actually it's it's modern where you know it has like you know the, the current highlights or, or stories. So there's like a news aspect to it. But the biggest thing that they highlight is just making it easy to find schools either by like zip code, location, or you know whatever you're looking for. So that, that's that's nice, and it encompasses um, you know the the high schools, elementary, and then all the way down to preschools as well, which is which is awesome. Yeah, that that would be very helpful. <laughs> and we forgot to mention the the baby in the background, in case anybody was wondering. Oh yeah, what that so background noise is that's yeah. my four month old. Your four month old, see, and so that that's a cool thing. Like on a, on our podcast, we like to highlight to everybody is um, the people who come on here. You know, they, they're great people. They they love their faith and everything, but you know, like you'll hear, we'll, we'll do interviews with babies in the background or, you know, like in, you know, there's students in the background. It, it doesn't matter. Um, that's the, the essence of what we want to communicate, communicate to everybody that, you know, we're not some highly produced show where I'm literally using my uh, cell phone with a recording service. And that's how Michelle and I are talking. So if you think, Hey, you know, we want to do something like, you know, what, um, you know, St. Michael's trying to do, or, you know, some other parents who are excited to do a podcast or something to get the word out more, for your respective school or your, you know, parish group or your church or what have you. Um, the, the resources and everything is out there and, you know, we can, we can help you with that. We can give you some guidance too. So, but um, back to the thing. So that's cool. So you, you, the kids are at St. Charles Borromeo. Actually, I, I had the privilege of, um, you know, meeting the, the principal during the WASC accreditation week. He, you know, your principal was um, on, on the WASC team for St. Michael's. So I got to talk oh, to him. That's for great. Like, five, 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, maybe. Mr. Moeller. And he, he used to be a teacher at, or a coach at my high school. So everything comes around full circle. <laughs> that is awesome. And the other cool thing on this, uh, what is that past Palm Sunday, uh, just the way with events going on, we still, um, you know, Grace and I, we wanted to make sure that we did mass and on, on Saturday and we're able to go visit, you know, actually do um, Saturday mass at in the observance of Palm Sunday. We actually got to meet your pastor. I think it's uh, Father John, right? Or, yeah, Father. Yeah, and, yeah uh, John uh, Amsbury. Amsbury. And uh, amazing, uh, amazing pastor, uh, really energetic. And here's the cool thing is, uh, is whoever's helping him put out his homilies on, on, the, on, his own, uh, on his own podcast channel and everything is, uh, is freaking amazing. It's cool. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I listen to those whenever I get a chance. And very good spiritual food for those who need it at any time. It's so cool. Very cool. So, um, yes, I mean, that, those are some things and, you know, really go to where the attention's at. You know, we, we have a lot of, you know, like 
your um, story of, you know, um, being interested and still wanting to hold true to what's important to your family, of having your kids get that experience, that Catholic school experience is very important. And it's what happened to you guys as far as, you know, moving for a career and everything like that and, and having to, um, you know, adjust to that really is a testament of how important it is um, to get the word out. So if there's schools out there that need help or need to get their, you know, their, their branding or their ability out there, um, there's different ways to do that. And, you know, that way they can service more and more families like yourself. So. Yeah. Um, part of that whole decision to, to send them to a Catholic school and to stay there once we started had to do with, you know, building their foundation, their character, their virtue, um, the education piece you can get at any school, but um, that character, that virtue, I think it's so important to build that foundation early. And it's a lot easier to do that in a Catholic school setting. And so that's for my husband, for Dover and I, that's what we talked about. He you know, I was open to a public school because when we lived in Chula Vista, they had some really good um, schools in our neighborhood. But at the end of the day, my husband's like, no, um, if we can afford it, if God blesses us with the means to, um, we really should put them in a Catholic school where they can build that faith and that foundation to help them. Because in the long run, that will help them um, as people and contributing members of society. Nice, nice. Well, awesome. You know, thank you so much. And we, we know that you're, uh, you know, busy with different things and you got your four month old to, you know, to, to tend to as well. Um, what we want to do is, you know, just can you, uh, for those people who are inspired by your story or who want to get in contact with you, can you, can you share with them what, um, which social media, you know, what platforms are you hanging out, how to reach you and like what, what things are going on with you? Sure. I, um, that's funny that you mentioned it because I have taken a pause in my career um, to focus more on the kids. But in doing so, I started to blog. So I do have a new blog. It's www.letloveshineblog.com. Or you can find my Instagram page, which is letloveshine516. Or on Twitter, letloveshine1. Um, I'm just getting started, but it, it, it really is about um, taking a step back and just trusting that you're where you're supposed to be um, and trusting God that he brought you there for a reason. He'll get you through and wherever it is, whether it's good or bad, you're there because God put you there. So it's, it's just talking about our adventures and our journey um, as it relates to that on those blogs. So hope you can follow along and provide feedback and make comments oh and the email is um either let love shine 516 at gmail.com or michelle at let love shine blog.com awesome we'll be sure to i can put those um all those handles and those emails and the url those links um, into the show notes for this episode and i want to you know thank you for you know just being an, an amazing person who um has <laughs> you know, a lot of love and a lot of, you know, sharing that, that you give and just being the best that you can be for your family and for your community. So I want to commend you for that. Oh, thanks, Mark. It's my pleasure. And I want to thank you for doing what you're doing and both for St. Michael's because I still support them wherever, whenever I can and, and the Catholic school community in general. So thank you as well. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Everybody, thanks again for listening to another episode of the SMA Audio Experience Podcast. Stay tuned for another episode, but till then, have a great rest of the week, and God bless you and your family. Take care for now. Bye.